Hey everyone, we are here with another demo about AutoChain agent. This agent is actually uh, available to do on chain itself, like uh, doing transactions, showing your balance or history transactions. The special thing about this agent is this agent is memory enabled and this memory is also on chain. So you will be able to drop your interaction with the chatbot and come back another time. For example, tomorrow, and this agent will be context there of your previous interaction. So let's get it started with a simple prompt. Like, hey there, my name is Sai. Okay, let's get it started with getting my balance, for example. Here's my address. Okay, perfect. As we can see, the thing that just happened under the hood is that he had an RPC call fetching my balance on the blockchain, which is approximately about 0 0.7 AI3. And also I can say, can you give me a report Amazing. So I had four transactions in my history. I didn't receive anything and I don't have any reserve balance. So if I refresh the page and start the communication again, this agent must know who I am and what is my wallet, for example. Okay, let's do that. And let's start another interaction. Okay. Perfect. So it knows that my name is Say. So the thing that I'm going to do is can you tell me wallet address? Cool. So basically it knows what is my wallet address. Let's initiate a transaction. I want to send 0.183 in my friend. Perfect. So as you can see, there is like a transaction hash to block this transaction actually went through. The thing that just happened under the hood for remembering the history is that we are compressing the most important point of your interaction with the chat and compress them and upload them to the DSM in an efficient manner. I'm seeing here the last file about the history of this agent that uploaded to the DSN is this one. So if I refresh the auto drive and try to find about this history, actually I'm seeing it. So you can just Download it. You can go to the auto drive and search for the JSON file, and you're seeing it. If you download, and look at it, basically, it's just a compressed version of your previous interaction that we actually send 0 0.1 AI3 from our wallet to another wallet with the transaction hash. And all of the history is connected together in a linked list data structure. So you only need to know the latest CID and all of the history is connected with each other. For example, by knowing the CID of this one, the agent will be able to pull out the previous one and it goes back to the genesis. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it.